Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. In this video, you will learn to customize and tune your audio system performance using Mini DSP Device Console. Device Console is the graphical user interface compatible with most Mini DSP products. Here, we will focus on the 2x4 and 2x8 architecture found in the 2x4 HD, Flex, and SHD products. Device Console's interface allows you to set the critical parameters of your Mini DSP digital signal processor. The end result is a precisely configured and tuned audio system with or without subwoofers. When you receive your Mini DSP, the first step is to download Device Console from the Mini DSP website to either your PC or Mac. When you connect the Mini DSP to your computer via USB, Device Console will be your dashboard for configuring the system. Device Console opens with general settings in the left panel and configuration controls in the right panel. Using the general settings, you can select your input device, adjust master volume, turn DIRAC on and off, select and save configuration presets, and refresh your firmware. There are a number of inputs available, depending on your mini DSP unit. They include Toslink, SPDIF, AES EBU, RCA, XLR, and TRS balanced, USB, LAN, and Bluetooth. With Device Console, you have four preset configurations. These store and recall parametric, crossover, delay, and other settings, as well as your Dirac projects. After you've completed a configuration in your selected preset, it will be saved permanently in the Mini DSP firmware. You can also export it for backup on your computer. Once you disconnect the USB from the Mini DSP, you will be able to control basic functions with the remote control or the knob on the front panel. The input panel in the center of Device Console contains the input gain, PEQ, and mute controls. There are two variations of this panel, based on whether or not your Mini DSP is DIRAC enabled. The first variation is for a flex without DIRAC. You can see the RMS meters for inputs 1 and 2, typically left and right. This is where you verify that you have proper input levels and set the gains accordingly. The PEQ button is located in the input panel and provides access to the 10-band parametric equalizers. The input panel of Device Console for a DIRAC-enabled Mini DSP unit contains the correction algorithms created by a DIRAC project. These replace the gain, parametric equalization, and mute controls. The RMS meters are the same. The main panel of Device Console contains PEQ, crossover, delay, channel gain, and inversion controls. This example shows a 2.1 stereo with subwoofer system. You can label the routing matrix in accordance with your system setup. With Device Console, you have control of either four or eight input parametric equalizers, depending on your mini DSP model. There are 10 bands you can use independently to adjust frequency, gain, Q, and filter type. All parameters can be adjusted in real time and will automatically combine when you add additional filters. Peak filters can be used to add gain or loss over wide or narrow frequency ranges, depending on the need. Q is varied to change the width of the filter. The frequency setting controls the center of the filter. An example for using a narrow filter might be to notch out a room resonance or an excessively bright frequency range in a horn. A low shell filter is similar to the classic bass control. You can add gain or loss to the filter. You might want to use a low shell filter to add mid-range warmth, which would be in the 500 Hz range. Or to add some very low bass punch, you might start around the 70 Hz range. A high shell filter is similar to the classic treble control. A common application for this might be for speakers that are really bright. You could add a high shell filter with just a touch of loss making the speakers a bit warmer. Having full control over your crossover interfaces is a very powerful tuning element. With Device Console, you are able to vary crossover frequency, slope, and type. You can choose filters that are very soft or extremely sharp, depending on your listening preferences and room characteristics. For more on active crossovers, be sure to check out our tech blog. Here, we show a classic 2.1 system crossover at 80 Hz with a slope of 24 decibels per octave and a Butterworth filter shape. 
Gain can be set on each of the four output channels individually. This allows you to match levels between all the speakers in your system and adjust them to taste, such as adding more amplitude to the lower frequencies for a warmer sound. Delays for synchronizing the time of arrival of audio from various speakers and subwoofers, bringing signal coherence to the listening area. You can find more on the topic of delay in our tech blog. The mute feature allows you to mute a channel that is not being used. This can be applied to isolate the channels you are measuring during system tuning. Inverting a channel is the equivalent of reversing the plus and minus leads to a speaker. In a system with subwoofers or active multi-way speakers, the relative polarity of all speakers should be the same. Low-frequency speakers are especially sensitive to polarity inversions that can cause a loss of bass output. It's easy to determine if speakers are out of phase. Simply measure the speakers independently and then measure the left and right channels together to be sure they are in phase. You can see in this example, they add by 6 decibels, meaning they are in phase. You also should verify your subwoofers are non-inverted from the main speakers. If you have an inverted phase situation, the level will subtract in the crossover region of the drivers. The goal is to end up with all of the speakers being additive in power level. As you continue to explore Device Console and use its features to fine-tune your system, be sure to save your configurations so that you can recall them another day. Template mode is a great way to experiment with Device Console before you purchase a mini DSP unit. You can explore Device Console with different mini DSP models, create various configurations, and then save them to upload later. If you would like a free Device Console license, please give us a call at Deer Creek Audio. Be sure to visit us at DeerCreekAudio.com for more resources, tech blogs, and product details. Keep watching our YouTube channel for more video releases.